please fill her up, miss, if you wouldn't mind? Yeah, it's better. Dash is an atoner who fights for love and peace. A lot of what makes Dash that unique of a character comes from his background. I don't want to spoil too much, but his background kind of is what shapes his personality for the series more or less when you first meet him. He doesn't like to kill anybody. He'll fight and hurt you really badly, but he never kills. And this idealism can and does bite Dash in the ass a couple different times throughout the series. It's, it's a very common theme to kind of go through his background and kind of explain why he is the way he is. And they do verify and kind of talk about why and how this came to be. When he's introduced, you take his character as like somebody who's skilled but just childish and just very playful. But in reality, it's more like a facade to mask his true feeling. He like he regrets something that he did. He does. He really does regret something that happened back in the past, which I won't spoil. And he takes strides to help anybody in need, even if he gets hurt. He gets hurt. If even if he gets hurt in the process, his body bears like every single scar of any fight he's been in, and he chooses to accept those scars and doesn't even try to heal them. He just let the scar more or less define who he is. And all he ever really wanted was to make Planet Gun Smoke safe and bring an end to all the fighting and the murdering and just bring love and peace and prosperity to the land, pretty much. When I think back to when, like, a very, very first time I ever watched Trigun, I was really young. I was really young. I barely understood what the hell it was about. But, like, I remember that, like, that annoying ass laugh that Bash would always give to people whenever he was just, like, fucking around and messing around, drinking and having fun with people. It's like, I have, like, really, really faint memories of, like, that in, like, Cowboy Bebop. And that's, like... I don't know, I think that was like maybe the second anime that Adult Swim got. I believe, don't quote me on that. Do not quote me on that. I might be wrong. But I know it was definitely in its early years where um, Adult Swim didn't really have a lot of anime going on. To bring this video more or less to a close, Vaz isn't a groundbreaking character. Not really. But he is more than he seems at first. He fights his own personal demons while also trying to protect everyone else and gets hurt for it, mentally and physically. Note that I'm staying pretty light on the details about the story in Trigun because I want you to see it for yourself and I want you to cast your own judgment about Mr. Vash, the Stampede. <laughs> and I'm serious, like, you really have to kind of get a feel for his character on your own terms and, like, come up with your own conclusions of how you feel about his character. And is, it, is he a great character? Is he an okay character? I don't necessarily think he's a terrible or bad character, but. I don't think he's anything to like write home about or write essays and video blogs and stuff about per se. And um, and like I said, I just want you to see for yourself and cast your own judgment about it. And if you haven't already yet watched it, if you haven't watched Trigun yet, you're missing out on a truly, truly, truly classic series. This was Character Interpretations. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.